ho, 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 ho. Yo! Stabbing right there. Oh my god, dude! Oh, the pull out with the knives too. And then pushing the glasses up. Oh, man. And here he is. <laughs> First time we're seeing Jacob. Yo, this is awesome. It's just so cool to see this little part of Serp Village after having walked through it. Oh, I love the logo too with Usopp's skull and the hammer for the eye. That looks great. Mmm, I like what they did with the little flamenco guitar at the end too. Very nice. Oh, is this the first time we're seeing his version of the logo? <laughs> I can't get over how good the music is. Oh, the poor little... <laughs> the poor little dead dead Mushi's coffin. Oh, man. I hope it didn't die. I feel bad for the little baby Denden Mushi. I also love how Garp's ship looks, man. They just did such a good job with this. I still think it's so smart to implement the stuff with Kobe and Helmeppo as part of, like, the main canon story. Because, again, the parallel of Kobe's journey and Luffy's journey, I think, is really interesting to a mainstream audience. And it's something that, especially with what you're reading in the manga now and how important Kobe's becoming, I feel like it's a good time to start reintroducing people to this. Dang. He said, you're a loser just like your dad, Helmeppo. <laughs> I'll never get over the amount of screen time that Bogart has in the live action. It's so funny. Interesting. I did not know this. I knew that the Fishmen, based on what Matt told me when I was on set, I knew the Fishmen were going to be involved with the Barati A arc. I did not know they were going to be brought in with Buggy. I also don't know because I haven't looked at the actual soundtrack, so I don't know what the names of each of these music tracks are, but I love the instruments they're using for every time that Nami's trying to figure out something that's going on in the story. You've got this like the little flute that's in the background, the strings. I have to just actually sit down once I finished watching the show and listen to the soundtrack. There's the Mary. Here we go. I'm sure that had to be so emotional for him as he was standing on the set too. It was emotional for me walking on it and I was just visiting. He's Luffy. Here we go. Usopp meets Luffy. <laughs> you can talk. <laughs> I also love this little interaction too, like knowing what's eventually going to happen with them and with the ship. Once we get to Water 7. Uh, I also love the change of Kaya's business being the ship business as well. Because it has a nice tie with the stuff with the Mary and the shipyard. It's a good through line with the story. Again, good change. Fun fact, the little piece in the middle of that board actually already has the pieces in their proper places. And you just take out the middle and then you put the little other pieces in there. We actually showed off this exact prop in my set visit video. So if you haven't watched that video, go watch that video. Ooh, look at her mansion. Gorgeous. Oh, the little panda, <laughs> panda man shrub. <laughs> Great. I have to assume this had to be Cape Town because those mountains look very reminiscent of Cape Town. I love Nami. Emily just does such a good job with her. Like, even this early on, I haven't even seen the Arlong Park stuff yet, but I feel like she is a perfect Nami. Okay, that looks practical, though. Did they actually build that out? The gardens and everything? That's gorgeous. Ah, <laughs> Sham and Bucci. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're getting into it. Here's Kaya and Kuro for the first time. Uh, now, I was not present on set during this sequence of Surf Village, but I'm, I was there for the second half when they were filming it. And one thing I will say, Kuro, based on what I saw on set, incredible. I'm so excited to see how, oh, dude, he's got it down with the classes. Oh man, please, Cloud, oh, it's my birthday. His outfit is also perfect. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> Give him the once over, like, yo, stop over at Uniqlo, get some new clothes. You will bathe before dinner, he said. It's not an option. Are we gonna get our first bathhouse scene? Mm, Zoro knows something's up. You can tell she is so into him right from the very beginning in this. Like, Kaya obviously always liked Usopp in the manga too. But I feel like their romance is stronger in the live action than it is in the manga, at least right away. A lot of the times, I feel like Netflix will throw in a bunch of swears in a lot of their shows. And sometimes it doesn't make sense. But I feel like in One Piece, just in these first three episodes, they've said shit like 10 or 12 times and every single time it's made sense. 
and I like it because shit is a nice PG-13 swear. I can't get in any trouble for saying shit. I can say shit right now. And I don't have to worry about getting demonetized too because this VOD is going up for my members. I like their love theme too. Dude, look at how just how cool the lighting is. Look at her closet, man. I love how they're doing the designs. Yo, cool. Dude, the Easter egg costumes are so good. Zoro too. Oh, man. See, Sanji's not here yet. Sanji would be sipping up a storm. But we're still a couple of episodes away from Sanji, so don't worry. She says that now. She says she, you know, wants to be complimented. But then it's going to start happening every single second of every single day from Sanji. And then she's going to be sick of it. X. Rich people don't stay rich by giving things away. Exactly. What the heck is that? That just looks like blue frosting with sprinkles in it. So this is the audience's first little uh, glimmer that something might be wrong. Oh, look at that table setting. Gorgeous. Oh, I thought he was going to go boom and then <laughs> we need We need a counter for how many times he pushes up his glasses. It's been three times so far. Roger, maybe we should do a Kuro glasses drinking game. Look, I'm not looking to die today, all right? I'm only on episode three. I love this. So many of these little shots in this Kobe and Garp scene really do feel like they're just ripped out of a manga page. The close-ups on the glasses, the little cuts in the slides. Bro, why does Mary, why does Mary look like Greg? <laughs> He looks like Greg. <laughs> Throw a wig on him. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I mean, it works for Mary, but it's just funny. He straight up looks like Greg. <laughs> In close-ups, he doesn't look as much like Greg. But when he was descending the stairs, he looked just like him. How lovely. You're sailors. <laughs> nope. We're pirates. <laughs> Nami looks so uncomfortable, man. He's very serious. Kaizoku Oni, Orewa Naru, and then hands the glass right to Kuro. Mmm. 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 The ship spoke to him. It did it now, Luffy. Nice way to loop the whole thing together. Very nice. Nepotism only gets you so far, Helmapo. He sees something in Kobe. I wouldn't do that. Here we go. Oh. Oh, what the heck? This man's shaving? Yo, Kuro! Oh, Yo! Stabbing right th Oh my god, dude! Oh, the pullout with the knives, too! And then pushing the glasses up! Oh, man! That was clean! I had seen that little shot of him with the... With the knives behind Mary, because obviously that was in one of the trailers. But the way he actually did it was awesome. And then back to Buggy. This is cool. I love how they're implementing all of this. Man, oh man. Bro, if they're killing me Look how Arlong! Oh man, we're seeing him this early. His makeup is sick. Look at him. Oh man. I love his voice too. You gotta pay tribute. <laughs> Jeff is also such a perfect buggy. Man, oh man. Ransack the house while you can, Nami. Just don't get caught. Oh no. Oh no. I finally know what the music reminds me of, too. It's very Nightmare Before Christmas-esque. Like, right as he's entering Christmas Town for the first time, and you hear the little, like, not the sleigh bells, but like the da-da-da-da. It's a nice little scene between the two of them. Oh man. Oh man, that they're setting that up like that. Oh ho ho ho. For Kaya to ask Nami, have you ever lost anyone close to you? And she just like takes the beat, says no. But you know what's coming up with Belmare? Like, oh God. And then like, it's a good way of subtly setting up that like, oh, Nami can finally relate to her. Because they both obviously did lose people who were special to them. Meanwhile, Usopp's getting dating advice from Zoro and Luffy. <laughs> yeah. Zoro's like, you're asking the wrong guy, all right? My boyfriend's not here yet. Sanji comes in a couple episodes later. <laughs> Maybe we might have already seen your father. Who knows? Yasa? I know Yasa! I definitely want to just re-watch this at some point and look in the background because I'm sure there are lots of little Easter eggs hidden in this kitchen. Oh, don't eat that, Luffy. Don't eat it! I really can't get over they killed him. That bodes well for Pell when we eventually get to Alabasta, I feel. I love it. <laughs> oh, he slices up his bounty poster. That's great. Watch out, Usopp! What are they hissing at him and stuff? So now we can officially say that Sham can beat King, right? 
If Sham was able to knock out Zoro, that means that Sham can beat King. How's it feel to have a friend, Nami? Feels good, doesn't it? Don't put it back. Come on. She gave you permission. She said you could take it. <laughs> That's still wild to me. They're dumping Mary's body in the well. Bad move, little ant. Throwing the swords down there. Da -da. And like they said, no one's going to believe him. Oh. Time out! Kobe, wait, 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 wait. Kobe is gonna be involved in Serp Village? Again, not a twist I knew. What? I, Cause I know at some point, cause one of the scenes that I saw when I was in Cape Town that Matt showed us, like in early, early production, one of the scenes that I saw was Kobe and Helmopo on the ship with Garp when they're chasing down the characters after Serp Village, I did not realize they actually are here, like as part of the story. I'm glad that Matt and the crew made this a new story for veteran fans too. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, like not knowing who's gonna show up and when. I I'm really, I'm enjoying myself. So my guess is that if they're setting this up with Zoro now, we're probably gonna get the Zoro flashback here. Cause I don't think they'd wait until Baratie and it has to happen before Mihawk. Unless they intercut it with Mihawk but I don't think they're gonna do that. Oh, bro, if, if we're getting a Zoro title card, it's done. This is the flashback for Zoro, definitely. I love Sham and Bucci in this too, man. Everything about this, I am a fan of. They really are turning Serp Village into an interesting, fun arc. Cause I feel like Serp Village has always been one of the weakest arcs in One Piece. Not to say that it's bad, but I think compared to some of the other stuff, it's pretty weak, but I feel like this is great. I love like the slight horror aspects to it. I think all three of them are cast perfectly. There's good humor there. I love the character interactions. Keep my mom's name out your mouth. <laughs> oh, and there's the box, cool. <laughs> he ate himself to death. Too much food, too much liquor. Bruh, the little, oh. Kuro's right, though. I grew up in an old house, and literally I couldn't walk around my top floor without the floors creaking. You can hear it downstairs. I love old houses, though. Meanwhile, Zoro's trying to make his way out of there. There we go, Schmutzky Village, seven years ago, all right. <laughs> Here we go. Now, my big question is, are they going to keep the she fell down the stairs line? Or are they just not going to reference the stairs and just say she died? I love the music in this scene too. Man, oh man. And there's Kawina. The kid playing young Zoro has a lot of McKenyu's mannerisms down, actually. It's pretty impressive. Like some of his looks and some of the ways that he's saying certain things, like the cadence of his speech. It's quite good. Oh man, their classic outfits, cool. Dude, <laughs> Bucci's cape and the knives. Oh man, I love this. Woo! I love how they did this shot too, where he's almost entirely in silhouette except for the glasses. I love that. That must have taken a long time to get that shot just right. Damn, and again, the set design is incredible. Like, again, this is the one set that I actually got to walk through, and it looked cool, but it wasn't, like, fully dressed. The, a lot of the areas that I got to walk through weren't completely done. Like, they already filmed a lot of stuff. They were just filming some last-minute scenes. Like, actually seeing it in the show, it's gorgeous. But that hallway that he's walking through is literally what I got to walk through. It was that hallway in Kaya's bedroom. When we were in the prop room, we actually got to see those paintings too. Man, he is nailing Kuro. Good Lord. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na -na. Yeah, I love the music track they're using for the Zoro Queen of fight, man. Really, really good. And I like how it's paired with him climbing out of the well, too. You know, the, the thing I kept hearing in my head as he was climbing the well is that scene from The Dark Knight Rises where they're all like, Bashara, Bashara, Deshi, Deshi, Bashara, Bashara, Deshi, Deshi. And it definitely gave the same kind of vibe with the, the tempo of the music. Oh, what the heck? 
projectile vomiting up the poison soup <laughs> onto El Meppo. Oh my god. Got a full on exorcist moment there. Good lord. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay. So we're going to find out. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. The big question is finally about to be answered. Does Kawina fall down the stairs? Okay, so they're not going to say the stairs. Okay, okay. <laughs> he said there's an accident. Ooh, perfect single tier, too. Well done, young Zoro. I feel like it really was an accident in this version. Kawina sounded very determined and hopeful in making the vow to Zoro. Oh, for sure. I mean, it was obviously an accident the first time, too, at least in the manga. Or that's how I read it. But it was just the explanation was, like, so bizarre and out there when you read it the first time. Mm hmm. Mmm, I'm getting chills with the music and everything. Mmm. <laughs> oh, yo, right there. Right in the kisser, let's go. Get him, all right. Come on, Kobe, bro. You did good up to this point, but you gotta let him walk. That's right. <laughs> you got a job to do, and we got a job to do too. That was such a smart choice. Having all this extra stuff with Kobe and Helmopo thrown in. It really, really is good. This monologue is so awesome. Ooh, woo! Barely missed them. And this has got to be brutal for her to actually witness this now, too. It's one thing hearing it from Usopp and Nami. It's another thing to actually see this. Because this has been her only friend other than Usopp for years. Oh, and he's even mocking her. Oh. Bring me my blanket, Claudio. Brush my hair, Claudio. Oh, man. Absolutely fire casting, man. Looks perfect, sounds perfect, is acting perfect. He's menacing. I love that chandelier too. I don't know what that's made out of bone or something, but it looks awesome. I want that hanging in my house. 2v1, Shaman Bucci versus Zoro. I am ready for this. What's that? A knife! No! <laughs> Nobody's like, I regret saying I'm sorry. <laughs> Nobody's saying, I regret telling you that you're stronger than you think. Oh man. Ooh! The double shave. Holding them both down. You got this Usopp slingshot into his face. Woo! Oof. Where's Luffy when you need him? There we go. <laughs> Woo! See, you'd think he wouldn't have just palmed him like that, though. You'd think he would just immediately have gone and stabbed him. <sighs> All right. And he's got the bandana on. He's ready. <laughs> I love that Bucci's hissing through all of this, too. <laughs> Sham, too. Dude, look at this. Wow. The flip off of the staircase. This must have been so much fun. Oof. Oof. The tag team attacks, too. Wow. And the music, man. Let's go. Let's go, Luffy. Great use of audio design, too. If you're listening in surround sound, it sounds like he's talking from behind you. Looking over my shoulder for Kuro. Oof. He said, you're an embarrassment to the name Pirate Kuro. You gave up on your dream. Mmm. Okay. They're not doing what I thought they were going to do. I was like, are we about to see something introduced really, really early on? No, 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 no. We're not. We're not. Luffy's just listening. Okay. There we go, Luffy. <laughs> His hair's all messed up now. That must have been so much fun walking around with those blades on your hands like that. Ooh! Zoro flying down. This fight is killer. This is probably the best fight in the series so far. Man, oh man! I love even like the rumbling sound effect as Bucci was landing on the ground. I highly recommend, if you have watched this episode already, watch it again with headphones on. The surround sound aspects of it are very, very good. The little tings coming off of the swords, the whispers in the background, and they're still going, man! 
<laughs> Boom, right there. <laughs> I also love that he's got all the goofy expressions on his face while he's jumping around and touching the attacks. Here we go. <laughs> gum gum bell right into the face. Send him flying out of those security shutters. <laughs> The facial expressions were so on point for Luffy and Kuro. Looked right, ripped straight from the page, man. <laughs> well done. Sham and Bucci all tied up and dealt with. <laughs> Smack her on that again with another frying pan. Come on. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Kaya's like, don't worry, you can have it. Yeah, you do. <laughs> there we go. You more than earned it. Dun, 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 dun. Come on. Look at that. It all worked out. Beautiful. Just one thing left. What's going to happen with Usopp? We need a sniper on the crew, come on. Kaya's like, go off on your little adventures. Uh, she'll be fine. Kuro's gone, Shim and Bucci are gone. It'll be all right. Are they gonna kiss or something? The way this is being set up. Oh, they are. All right, you go, Usopp, okay. <laughs> Luffy's like, I don't care about all this, but like, <laughs> I just want her to know I'm the captain around here, all right? At least Nami's like, let him have it. <laughs> all right, that's all the motivation he needs. Oh, man! Oh, playing We Are orchestrated as they take off on the Mary. Oh, beautiful! What a great insert of the song, man. We got our navigator, our swordsman, and now we got a sniper. <laughs> right in the kitchen already. All they have is popcorn, though. <laughs> they need a chef now. Oh, this warms my heart, man. What's next for Kuro? Good question. <laughs> I hope Jacob got to keep that. Now, this is the scene that I saw when I was in Cape Town. This exact scene. Without all the CG and everything, obviously. It was like the early version of it. But Garp attacking him. But see, I had assumed... From this bit, I just thought Kobe was on the boat. I didn't know Kobe was actually going to make landfall and be part of Serp Village. And this is the reveal of the grandpa. There we go. Oh, so, oh, wait a minute. Oh, so maybe that scene opens the next episode then. Maybe the scene I was talking about is going to... Oh, here we go. Okay, episode five. The chat's saying, what are your thoughts on revealing Garp uh, as his grandpa this early? I love it. I honestly think it's a great choice, especially for more casual viewers, because we wouldn't get to that until Water 7. And that's probably going to be like season four or season five or something. So, like, we're a long, long, long way away from that. And if you want to implement Garp and Kobe and Helmeppo into the story early, I feel like... That's completely fine to have that reveal early. Yeah, I also totally agree with Randy in the chat. He's saying it's not as big of a twist as everyone thinks. It's even in the source material. Or at least it's not as precious of a twist. I completely agree. Especially because assuming where season two is going to start, that'll tie directly into another reveal. And I actually think they'll reveal that pretty early too. I love, I love Garp Stinton Mushi too. And look at that, Kobe being a good friend, knocking Helmeppo out of the way. They're probably like, what the heck is going on here? Proud of your grandson? <laughs> Bro. All right, don't get too cocky, Usopp, all right? <laughs> Baratier, we're here, man. <laughs> 